it's Katie. Today we are going to make some Rice Krispie treats and you've made Rice Krispie treats before. You know how to make them, but I'm going to show you just a really quick trick how I make them super awesome. So I have my Rice Krispies and my marshmallows for the generic equivalent of. The recipe also calls for butter. To make them dairy free, I either use Earth Balance, which is a vegan dairy free butter, or I'm going to just use palm shortening today. So I got this at Target a while ago. I like this better than Earth Balance for baking when something calls for butter because it's just one ingredient. There's not any soy in it and it's just, it, it's a solid, um, you know, naturally solid fat. So it works similarly to butter. So the recipe is three tablespoons of the fat and an entire 10 ounce package of marshmallows and six cups of the Rice Krispies. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out the Rice Krispies so they're ready to go. All right, so this container holds six cups exactly, so that worked out nicely. And then you get your assistant to grease the pan. And I'm just gonna use some of the same shortening. And while she does that, I'm gonna put the three tablespoons in the saucepan. All right, so now we're gonna melt this over a medium heat. All right, so once that's melted, you put the marshmallows in, and this is the trick. You don't put them all in at once. So you hold back about a cup or so. So I just dump the rest in. And you let these melt. Once it's melted, you go ahead and put in the Rice Krispies, and then that's when you add the extra marshmallows. So they don't melt and you get little pockets of extra marshmallow. Just stir to combine. You gotta move quick and get it in the pan. When you're stirring it, you want to see all those millions of little strands. That means everything is evenly coated. That way you don't have little dry pockets of no marshmallow. All right, so once it's mixed, we're gonna go ahead and dump it in the pan. And press it down. You can use a greased spoon, so I'm just gonna use this spoon that I scoop the shortening out with. Make them nice and even. Or you can use a piece of wax paper and press with your hands, or get another like flat thing, like the bottom of a another casserole, and that'll make nice flat ones, but it's all right for ours to be a little bit imperfect. All right, so that's what it looks like once it's all spread out. If you can see, there's little pockets of pure marshmallow goodness. That's my favorite part. But just let these cool, slice them into bars, put them in an airtight container if they last that long. Uh, if you want to, leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear what you like to add to your Rice Krispie treats. Sometimes I add some peanut butter. I know other people do other things, so if there's a special way that you make your Rice Krispie treats, I'd love to hear about it. You can leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.